today I want to teach you how to transfer and sort these pom-poms by color into these matching containers. This is the mat, this is the tray, this is the bowl with the colorful pom-poms and these are the matching colored containers. These are the tongs. Watch me and I'll give you a turn to try. like to try So today you've learned how to do transferring and sorting. You can take this and use it whenever you like. Would you like to return it to the shop? But it's okay, just tell okay. me. Have a seat. As a teacher, when we transfer and sort, <coughs> we should move from left to right and then top to bottom, okay? But she didn't, she did it from here. As a child, if the child was doing that, you wouldn't really, that's an indirect aim. I would not stop and say, can I show you again and all that because she may or may not even catch it. But as a mother or as a teacher presenting, you need to do it that way because we want to develop, hopefully, the skill of left to right and top to bottom in relation to reading. Are we okay? Yeah. Um, when you read uh, for activity, should we let the child uh, sit any position they want or should we direct because uh, I once read like the W sitting is not uh, yeah, some people say W is not good. Uh, some people don't believe that. So as a parent, it's up to you how you want to direct your child to sit. Some children cannot sit cross-legged, you know. It's very uncomfortable for them. Like I said, these are actually chair uh, table activities, so they would be sitting on a chair. But when you're doing floor activities, you're most welcome to direct them to sit the way as a parent you wish, you know. Are we okay? Any questions? Yeah? When you are in your Montessori activity, uh, should there be any music or should there you be? Can. You can definitely have music in the background. Um, when you do certain activities, do you have a hobby that you do? Something you enjoy doing? Watching movies. Okay, well, watching movies, you can't have music, but uh, <laughs> cooking, <laughs> reading, things like that. We do have music in the background, right? Playing computer games or something we do have music so it's you know um, you c it shouldn't be like disruptive music and you know rude music and stuff like that but you know classical music or whatever any kind of music so at a low volume can distract, uh, if, uh, they're uh, singing the with the, sing the, the while, while, while doing no. not necessarily Sometimes it relaxes you. Yeah. So if you feel you don't have to have music with words, you can have instrumental. Yeah. Sometimes music really helps children. My child would constantly doing things as he was playing a drum every time he hears music. So okay. Would that distract my kid? Try and see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I could. Try and see. It's not very loud music, you know. Right. It's really quite soft. And classical music, of course, is known to develop the brain, so, yeah, it's good exposure. 
Oh, ada sih in, in Montessori can use uh, flashcards in its activity. Is that against the concept of Montessori? So it's not against, uh, but we believe in starting with concrete first. So we don't directly start any activity with any concept. We don't directly begin with a flashcard. Uh, if you see in culture, can you see we have those fruits and vegetables at the top? So that, that is botany and we have animals, but the animals are in the box. So the first, to teach children about fruit, the first thing we do is actually show them the models. In a real classroom, we would bring the real fruit, we would cut it open, we would taste it, we would examine the seeds and smell it and all that. And then we would go to the models of the fruit. And then we would go to the pictures. So that would be the steps.